Today I'm announcing that the fully vaccinated Kiwis and other currently eligible travellers from Australia will be able to travel to New Zealand from 11.59pm Sunday, 27 February, and instead of going into MIQ, will be able to self-isolate. And step two, just two weeks later, fully vaccinated New Zealanders and other currently eligible travellers from the rest of the world will also be able to travel into New Zealand without going through MIQ. The two weeks between each of these steps has been requested by our public health advisers to give time for our systems to adjust for the likelihood of more cases in our community and for our border systems to keep scaling up in the safest way possible. While we will no longer require people to enter managed isolation, at this stage, travellers will be asked to follow broadly the same requirements we have in New Zealand for people who are deemed close contacts at the time of their travel. It's because as travellers, it is highly likely that they'll come in contact with the highly transmissible Omicron variant on their journey. In fact, you can see in our current numbers at the border, even with pre-departure testing in place. That means currently returning New Zealanders will need to self-isolate for 10 days. But as the isolation period drops for close contacts here in New Zealand, as it does in phase two of our Omicron response, so too will returnees only need to isolate for seven days.